Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a humongous Target swimwear try-on. So I have, uh, I think five one pieces and then five two piece like bikini sets. Three cover-ups, a beach bag, some sunglasses, a hat, some accessories to share with you guys. So everything in today's video will either be swimwear or just kind of like poolside beach kind of related. And along with that theme, I wanted to talk about some skincare that I have absolutely been loving. You guys know if you're laying in the sun or spending a lot of time in the sun, it is so important to protect your skin, but not only that, take care of your skin, even indoors as well. And just make sure you're using good, clean products as much as possible. So I do wanna thank Tula for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna be mentioning some of my favorite products from Tula why I like them, and just kind of a little bit about the brand in case you guys have not heard about them. If you have, you're probably a huge fan. I feel like people who use Tula products are just raving fans of the brand, and they really have something for everybody. And I love that they are a clean, doctor-founded skincare and wellness brand. That just makes me feel more confident and safe using them. So um, let's jump right into the products because I feel like I'm just talking about them and I have nothing to show for. So I want to start off with these two products here. This one here is the Tula Skincare Filter Primer Luminizing and Moisturizing primer and this other one is the filter primer blurring and moisturizing primer so as you can probably see right on the packaging their products are formulated with probiotics and superfoods which I think is wonderful because not only are these products very effective but they are good for your skin so it's like feeding your skin good food that's kind of what it's like so these filter primers are amazing they do exactly what they say and I love that they have the two um, depending on if you want luminizing or if you want a blurring primer the consistencies are great they're not greasy they they lay really nicely under makeup and I'm actually not a primer girl but I really enjoy both of these so the next product I want to talk about um, this one I actually started using a couple months ago I believe I received it in like one of my subscription boxes or something this is the so poreless deep exfoliating blackhead scrub so this is amazing it's a hands down one of my favorite scrubs I've ever used I love an exfoliating scrub it just makes me feel really clean and really refreshed um, this one is not too abrasive, but it's also not too gentle where I don't feel like it's doing anything. It has a really nice, um, fresh scent to it. It smells like a berry smoothie. It just really smells like a fruit smoothie. And it leaves your skin feeling so moisturized. I don't find that my skin feels dry or tight afterwards, which I feel like is um, a reason why a lot of people don't like using scrubs and whatnot, because it just can feel like it really strips your skin. And I don't have any issues with this. My skin actually feels super moisturized after. I don't know how they do it, but it is so good. Okay, the next thing I want to mention is this little kit here, and they call this the Radiance Routine Kit. So this is essentially um, your little like glow kit for the summer to keep your skin looking really new, fresh, and glowy. This um, includes four full-size products. And the value of the box is $157, but if you purchase it as the kit, you can get it for $95. And then I also have a coupon code for you guys on all two of the products, so you can get 15% off, which brings it down to $76.25 for four full-size products. So this is kind of the way to go if you're interested in any of the products that you see in here. So the first product in here is the Cult Classic Purifying Face Cleanser. This is so good, guys. I love this cleanser. It's very gentle and feels like it's washing away all your makeup, all of the dirt and kind of grime that has gotten on your face or in your pores throughout the day. And like I said, at the same time, it is very gentle. So I just feel like the Cult Classic is the perfect name for this cleanser because I can really see this being a holy grail in my skincare routine and something that's just good to have. I mean, it's an all around, good cleanser. I don't have anything bad to say about it. It is like slightly scented. It kind of just smells like clean cotton to me. So yeah, just very clean and fresh. Absolutely love it. And this is a humongous cleanser. Like this cleanser is huge. So great value. So next in your little glow kit, you get the Tula Brightening Treatment Drops. This is triple vitamin C serum. So this serum is amazing. The consistency of it is so good. It's lightweight, but it's very moisturizing at the same time. It does not leave your face greasy whatsoever. The packaging is great and very convenient, easy to dispense, and the product itself is wonderful. I really do think that it like brightens my skin. So if you don't have any vitamin C in your skincare already, I highly recommend. The next product I have in here is the Tula Skincare Protect and Glow Daily Sunscreen Gel, and this is SPF 30. So it says UVA and UVB protection. I love this SPF. I'm actually wearing it under my makeup today. I don't know if you guys can see just like the subtle glow that I have going on. That is from this. I am not somebody who likes to wear sunscreen on my face whatsoever because it leaves me feeling 
so greasy. My makeup's like melting off. I don't like the smell. I just, I don't like it at all. I am so thankful, so happy that I found this SPF and that they sent it to me to try out because I am hooked. This is my Holy Grail face sunscreen from here on out. It does have some nice kind of luminosity in it, but it's not glitter. It's not like sparkly. It really just gives you this subtle kind of like healthy glow and I love this. So the last product that you get in your little glow kit is the Rose Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. So if you guys have not heard about this, holy smokes, I am so glad I jumped on this train, the bandwagon, whatever you want to call it, I'm glad I hopped on because this product is everything. So this one is the Rose Glow. They also have their one in the blue packaging. I apologize. I don't remember what it's called. They also have one in orange packaging. So they have some different uh, variations of this product, but this one is the glow one. So it does have kind of a luminous finish. You could actually use this as a very subtle highlight, even if you wanted to like apply it and tap it onto your cheekbones after your makeup. Um, I think you could do that, but I use it really just under my eyes. And then I kind of like sweep it back on the top of my cheekbone. You guys can see it underneath my makeup. It is so glowy so fresh and it really brightens my under eyes another thing i love about this is that it's cooling i love cooling products it's like a little spa moment under your eyes every single time you put this on i actually put it on at night too so it's very moisturizing it feels good it lays beautifully under makeup if you don't want one that's like luminous then maybe try out their blue one i think that's like the original one um it's still like cooling moisturizing and all of that again with my code you get the entire little glow kit for 76.25 such a great value so yeah those are all the products that i'm going to talk about today some of my favorites that i've been absolutely loving for the summer months and moving on to the try on portion of today's video like i said everything in this video is going to be from target so swimsuits bathing suit cover-ups um, beach accessories and everything like that as always my sizing um, for reference will be down below and i'll try to mention like the size that i'm trying on but if not i'll also leave that down below and let's jump right in okay hopping in to the first swimsuit and cover-up so this cover-up is in a size small it's from Knox Rose so I actually think it's just a maxi dress but when I walked by it I instantly thought it would be the perfect summer beach cover-up bathing suit cover-up whatever you want to call it and it's so lightweight it's really really pretty um, I should have steamed it but I didn't really have time I love this print that's on it though this dress is so cute it kind of has like a bat wing sleeve here and then it has like the faux wrap front um, it does have some smocking here which I just think is so flattering it really brings in your waist and um, just kind of like defines that while still being super comfortable because it's stretchy it is full length I'm 5'4 and it's touching the floor like pretty much perfectly actually um, and then on both sides it has a little slit that comes up to about my knee which I really love because I feel like that makes it just feel so much more like beachy and then the back is super cute as well because it has like a little tie um, which I just think is adorable and I just can't tell you guys this is so flattering and so comfortable I didn't see it in any other colors, but maybe they have other color options um, Online so for my shoes. I have these adorable three clear strap sandals So they're just easy to slide on really cute super comfortable I actually got mine in an eight because they didn't have a seven and a half and they fit me really well So I think you probably could go up half a size um, But I think my true size would have been fine too. love the clear strap because they'll just go with absolutely anything And just with that beach theme in mind um, I was just thinking that these would be really easy if you got sand on them or whatever to just kind of rinse off and go so now i will take off my cover up so you can see my bathing suit so i actually have not done a swimsuit try on before so i don't really know like exactly how i want to do this without it being like weird or awkward but um this is the first suit so it's obviously a two-piece and i absolutely love it so i got both pieces actually in a size small which I'm a 30 double D. I thought I was a 32 double D, um, which would make the cup size bigger as well, but I'm actually a 30 double D. I just recently went and finally got measured. So that's what size I am, in case you're wondering why my size information has changed down below. So generally I have to buy like a medium or a large top just to get like the cup size that I need. But this small is very like offering. I don't know how to say it. I just feel like this is so flattering. I love this top. I just really like this kind of asymmetrical ruffle going on. So cute. I'm surprised that this fits as well as it does. I also feel like it would fit a smaller chest as well. Um, and you could probably just go true to size, maybe size down one. It does have the adjustable thing in the back. Actually, all the suits are adjustable in the back. So um, I'm just going to say that now so I don't have to keep saying it. So this one actually has um, adjustable shoulder straps, which I love. And then the bottoms are 
fairly cheeky. Um, they're kind of riding up a little bit. The bottoms are actually a little bit big for me. I, I may actually order them in an extra small because I do ab I just love this suit. Um, it has like a little ruffle here on the bottom which is asymmetrical and I also like that it kind of has that like high hip on the side as well. Absolutely love this suit. It's definitely a favorite. Okay next up guys I have this strapless option. I think this is really cute and kind of different. So it does have these little straps that you could actually attach and put some straps on. It does have some boning in the side, um, both sides, so it actually feels like it's going to stay up quite well and it has a tie in the back so you can really, really tighten it up. I feel very comfortable in it. I like that it's kind of like a crop top kind of look. The print is really, really cute. Um, I'm not a huge fan of low-waisted bottoms on me. I know that some people really like low-waisted bottoms, so I wanted to include them in this video, but yeah, they're not my favorite just on my body type. I feel like it looks better up here. I don't know why. I don't know. Bottoms are very cute. They kind of have like a double strap over here on the side. I got mine in a size extra small and I do feel like they're fitting a bit small. Maybe size up one if you like a little bit of a looser fit or if you're afraid these are going to kind of like cut into you over here. I recommend sizing up one because normally I'd be an extra small. It is kind of like cutting into my bum there if you guys can see that. So other than that, I do really like them. They're fairly cheeky in the back, but yeah, I think the print is really cute. And like I said, I like that this looks like a crop top. I feel like this would be really, really cute with some high-waisted like um, black denim shorts and it would look like you're wearing a crop top and shorts. So yeah. Okay. Next up, I have another cover up for you and I do try to match my cover ups with my suit. So this suit underneath, which I'll show you guys in a second, actually has the same kind of like minty turquoisey color on it. So it looks really cute. Even just like peeking through, you can see that it somewhat color coordinates and looks really cute together. This is adorable though. It's in like a muslin material. It's really cute because the fabric's like just gathered here. It's very simple. It's just like a big kind of like tent dress with straps and like a little tie in the back, but it's just very, very comfortable. This is like literally the perfect material for a cover up in my opinion. It's almost like, I don't know, it just feels like a muslin towel. It's so comfortable. I have my clear sandals on again so i apologize i tied the knot really messy but this is what the back looks like so it does that same kind of like cinching going on and then it ties in a bow um, i really hope you guys can see that i'm sorry i can't, i actually can't really see in the viewfinder myself like what it looks like so but how cute is this absolutely love it they also had it in like cream and like four or five different colors okay so with that cover up i was wearing this adorable one piece i love you guys know i call these clown stripes i love the clown stripes and the colors in this just really cute. I like the square neckline. I think it's very flattering. This is so comfortable. It's got some really nice ruching coming down um, the entire side on both sides. So I just feel like that, I don't know, just kind of makes it more flattering, less intimidating. And it's got really good coverage, so it's not super cheeky or anything like that. The back is really adorable as well. Um, my bow's off center, but just crisscrosses in the back and then it ties. So again, you can adjust these straps and the back as well by tightening up that little tie there. I do prefer my suits to come up a little bit. Again, that's just for my body type. Um, but if you're looking for a high coverage suit, nothing's going to be falling out as you're leaning forward or bending over. Like you are fully covered in the suit and I feel very comfortable in it. Yeah, it's still like fun and cute at the same time. So I feel like it'd be really cute just to put on like a white um, like wrap skirt or something with this. Yeah, absolutely love this one. Okay, similar in silhouette to the last suit. I have this one. It's a different print and it's got some um, like different features in the back, but it's got that square neckline. Again, the straps do come a little bit wider on this one, whereas the other one, the straps came more like here. This one doesn't offer as much support in the top, although I could tighten these up. So maybe if I tightened that up, it would be better. Yeah, that's probably what I should do. But I think this is so cute, very flattering from the side, covered on the bum and then the back. This is the only one that's not actually adjustable in through here, but even wearing a small, this one actually feels really comfortable. These straps are adjustable, like I said though, so that's nice. You can kind of adjust that part here. And I just really liked the print of this one. I thought it was really cute, kind of like a nude and black variation. Also, side note, if you've never owned a Target bathing suit, I should have mentioned this in the beginning, the fabrics are so good. Like, they're so good. They feel high-end. They feel like really good suits. So, yeah, I should have mentioned that. They're really, really good quality. So, um, yeah, that is this suit. Again, a good basic kind of one piece to have. Okay, really quickly wanted to throw on this hat because I felt like it was adorable with this suit. I'm going to try to link like a black wrap skirt um, down below because I feel like that would be so cute. A black wrap skirt this suit and then this hat adorable like a great 
put together look for the beach or vacation or anything like that so yeah i wanted to pop on this hat because i feel like it looks perfect with this bathing suit and this is also from target it's by a new day i believe it's like an adorable um kind of like braided sun hat so yeah okay and next up this suit here is one that i would generally gravitate towards one that has like the underwire the high-waisted kind of um like high cut bottoms i do feel like the top's a bit overwhelming i think now that i'm just not like a true like double almost triple d like i used to be i don't know this is just like gaping a little bit and it's kind of like a lot of fabric up here um i don't know but if you are a bit heavier chested or you kind of need like that lift and support highly recommend this because it does fit like a bra and i actually really love the print now that i have it on i think it's super cute i feel like my mom probably had a suit similar to this when she was in her 20s so i love that that kind of like retro vibe i have an extra small on bottom and then the top i think i got in the d double d um so some of their tops come small medium large etc but then also some of them offer like d and double d cups it does have the hook back and i just have it on the tightest setting and it is comfortable it's a very comfortable suit the fabric's nice and soft I like the bottoms. I like that they cut up around the leg and they are a bit cheekier. So very cute, but still comfortable. I feel like I'm not gonna fall out anywhere. I, like I said, I like this kind of like retro vibe. So over that um, blue suit, I put on this cover up, which I absolutely love. I think this is so adorable. I love like the low cut neck and it's got a low cut on the side as well. So your bathing suit just kind of like peeks through. It has these adorable little um, like wooden beads that are hanging from the tie just to add a little bit of detail i love the double slit in the front and it's kind of more of like a midi length so it's really easy to just get around in and walk around in on the beach or whatever so you can also tighten this tie and really bring it in at the waist too which i really like i'm definitely going to keep this cover up i think it's adorable it's very very lightweight too so it's just like easy to throw on it's not going to make you hot by any means yeah, i just absolutely love it i'm not sure again if this came in other colors but I'll link it down below and you guys can check out online um, to see if there's other color options. But I also paired this look again with my clear sandals and then this big beach bag. This thing is large, but what I love about it is that it stands up on its own. So you can throw your towel in it, your water bottle, all your stuff. And when you get to the beach or the pool, you can just kind of drop it and it won't spill out and you won't get sand off through it. And it's not going to be a hot mess. So that's what I really liked about it. It's like a woven basket kind of style. It's got this little tassel on the side, which of course, if that's not your style, you could just remove that. But I love it. I think it adds so much detail to the bag. And I mean, you can fit... A small child in there so absolutely loved that and I thought it looked really cute with this look next up I figured I had to include some black suits just basic black so I have a one-piece and a two-piece I love this guys this is a little bit more sporty uh, as you can see I let me let me do the sunglasses first so I don't have to wear these I paired it with these sunnies these are my absolute hands-down favorite sunglasses ever um, I bought these from Target but I just absolutely love them they've got like super flat rims they're kind of wide and yeah, I love the tortoise shell. They look good with like a black suit like this. I just thought that looked really cute, but also they really look good with everything. I wear them every single day, must have $15. So had to mention that in my little uh, beach video here, but I absolutely love this one piece. It's definitely more sporty, um, but again, it's gonna be a one piece that holds you in, you feel really good in, and um, you could wear it to like a family barbecue or something like that. It's definitely a little bit more like edgy. Um, it also kind of, I don't know it's a little more like sexy than the striped colorful one that one's more like fun and playful this one is definitely a little bit sexier i also like that this is a one piece yet you are showing like a little bit of skin in between so this one is kind of a favorite for me like an unexpected favorite i guess it's very simple in the back but still supplies good coverage um, and it has the adjustable straps very comfortable um, if it wasn't for my bum i feel like i could get an extra small in this just because in through here it's just like a little bit big um, but i think then this would be like cutting into my bum too much so um, it does have like a built-in bra here in the top so i am finding myself kind of pulling it down a little bit because it only allows for this much space so it's a little bit small for me um but it's honestly it's not too bad like i could totally get away with it if you are smaller chested you don't have to worry about that whatsoever so yeah i think it's a really good one okay i apologize because my neighbor just started mowing his lawn so i hope that's not too loud but this is more of like a sexy suit if that is what you are looking for this one would be great for like a honeymoon something like that um or if you just feel comfortable in this all the time then more power to you but it's pretty booby here in the front i actually have mine like tucked in pretty good just because i don't i really don't want to show too much 
um, but you could kind of like pull it down a bit more and show even more than what I am right now, but it has a nice high cut here in the leg, um, is a bit cheekier in the bum, and then in the back it actually looks like a two-piece, so this part, again, you can adjust and um, kind of tighten if you need to, and yeah, I just really liked the print of this one. I thought it was really cute. Again, it's good uh, quality. It's very soft, and I got mine in a small, and it fits me pretty well. Mine is puckering a little bit, like right here, um, I think because I have like a short torso, I think if you were taller torsoed, it wouldn't do that at all. I barely have like any torso at all. So overall, yeah, I think this is really cute. Again, if you're looking for a bit of a uh, sexier option, then maybe you would like this one. Okay, and next up, I have this adorable two-piece. I love the color of this one, this like dark kind of army green color. Um, the top I got in a 34C. This top is so comfortable. It feels like a sports bra. Like this is one of the most comfortable um, two-piece tops I've like ever put on my body. It's got this really soft um, material, this really stretchy kind of bottom here, yet it does have some underwire, so I feel so supported, so comfortable, and the color is showing up a little bit more like foresty green on the camera. It's actually more of like an army green in person, but I just absolutely love this color. The bottoms are very simple. Um, I have the bottoms in a small. I almost feel like I could do an extra small in these because, yeah, like once they get wet, I feel like they're going to be falling off. Um, but very cute and covered on the bottom. I like the back. So even though this is a 34, you can actually like adjust it here as much as you need. So like I said, I really feel like the top fits me perfectly. It's just so comfortable. Yeah, I really, really love this one. This is definitely a favorite and it may just be because of the way that it feels and like how comfortable it is. Um, because I mean, it is fairly simple, but yeah, it's a really good one. Okay, so this was the other black suit I was talking about. Top is like a bra style top, so it does have that underwire in it. Um, it doesn't have any padding, but they did have one that did have padding. So I'll link that one down below as well if I can find it. Um, this one has the halter um, around the neck. So with that, I'm able to like really tighten and lift the girls. So if you are heavier chested and you want that lift, I highly recommend this one. It does have like a little twist right here. So that just kind of is like a cute detail there on the top. And then the bottoms have this like crisscross detail kind of going on. The back is like super high coverage and this has that hook back so it's adjustable. Really cute though, good basic, um, kind of like edgy style. I got the top in a 34C again, and then um, the bottoms I got in a small, which on the waist, they are like a little bit big. I don't know if you guys can see that. They're just kind of like chilling up here. So I don't think I could size down though, because then I feel like this would really be cutting into my bum. I don't know. They definitely don't feel like they're gonna like fall off if I got in the water. They're definitely like snug enough through here. They're not going anywhere, but yeah, just keep that in mind. So yeah, just a good basic, not so basic black suit I guess okay so this one I think is a great one to end on I think this is so cute definitely not a color that I would normally gravitate towards and I actually found this suit last it was like a last minute I just was like mm, that's cute and different I'll grab it and try it on I definitely don't feel like the most secure in this one just because there's like a lot of openings like the back is fairly open um, it's pretty cheeky and then the top I feel like is just not quite tight enough like in through here for me if there was a strap that met in between these two and like pulled the back back like that, it would be um, perfect. But also maybe I just need a bit of a smaller size because it is like big up here too. I don't know if you guys can see that. So maybe if I got the extra small, I'd be happy with it. Sorry if all those little details are annoying for you guys. I just want you to be able to order like your best size possible. And I think an extra small might be better on me though. I'm not sure where my boobs are gonna go in an extra small. This is so cute. I love the color. It's this like beautiful, ribbed material, has this really adorable tie belt in the front, and I just think it looks so cute. Um, I do feel like covered up here, just like I said, it's not like as tight as I would like it to be right here. If you're into like the lower boob cleavage trend, I feel like this suit would be perfect, because you could actually shimmy this up and really show some lower boob. I think for some people that would work. For a mom who has breastfed two babies, it's not happening over here. I just think this is adorable. It's very comfortable. It's super flattering. It's like showing a lot of skin without showing too much. Like I just still feel very like covered and sporty in this. So definitely a good one to end on and maybe my number one fave. Oh so yeah guys, that is absolutely it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I've never done a swimsuit try on. So if you guys liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up so I know that maybe you wanna see more like this. And thank you again to Tula for sponsoring today's video. I love you all so much. I hope you're doing well and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.